one best tip you can give to people here who want to build a sales and marketing machine? I sent it to them the questions and email before that, so they were ready, but okay. <laughs> who wants to start? I didn't prepare, by the way. Just thinking about uh, right now. For me, the best tip is get the best people you can get. Um, that's definitely been my idea throughout uh, everything I did. It's just uh, I'm I'm doing a lot of interviews before making sure uh, before deciding and making sure I get the right people. Um, don't compromise on on the right team. Uh, it's really important, especially those first few people that when you're building a new team, um, worth. You know, doing more research. Uh, it's always, you know, you're always under stress to make sure that you have the graphic designer in place. Uh, but um, Just hire <laughs> I'm looking for one. Um, but uh, but making sure you have the r the the right team is is crucial. I, I would add, we talked a lot about measurement today. Every marketing activity that you do. Think in advance, how are you going to measure if you succeeded? Okay, If you're going to try something and then try to figure out how well it went, you're going to be in trouble because a lot of these metrics you have to set up and define in advance. So when I'm planning a marketing activity, I'm already building the measurement tools into the activity itself. Whether I'm going to a trade show, so I need to know what I need to collect. If I'm doing a social campaign, I need to start using the tools before I go social, not after, because if I know how well I did, I'll know if it's worth continuing to invest in. I'll be able to go to my management and say, look, this actually works, I want more money to do it. Or I can say, you know what, this actually doesn't work so well, I want to take the money and do something else. So plan your measurement in advance of every activity you do. It'll make your life a lot simpler. Um, regarding hiring the right people, so a lot of times small companies are um, str struggling with who should be the first or the second position in marketing, marketing that, then we sh that we should take. Udi said that definitely the second or third person would be uh, the marketing operation um, IT guy. I'd like to say who is the first one I think should be. So. Uh, usually, the, what, what you can choose between is taking someone which would be responsible for the paid uh, channels like AdWords, I mean PPC or banners or remarketing, or taking someone who's, who would be more uh, responsible for uh, creating the, the organic uh, traffic, which, is, which means um, SEO, uh, social activity, uh, the content and the content distribution. Uh, at least for, I think, for most B2B uh, companies, I would choose first to go with the what I call the product evangelist, which is someone who's able to, one, uh, produce content. Even if he needs to consult with the product guide, he's technical enough and he understands the target audience enough to be able to create content on an ongoing basis. The second thing, he knows SEO, and the reason it's critical is that if you write great content, but you don't optimize it for SEO, you've wasted your time. Because if you want, for example, uh, a good article that you write to appear, uh, to be distributed for PR purposes, and it gets published in the New York Times, but it's not SEO uh, um, optimized, then the value that you would get with, from it would be very uh, small. So whoever writes the content, it's very uh, important that he, he knows how to optimize for SEO. And the third thing he needs to know is how to distribute the content. And the reason is, if you get one person to write the content and another person to distribute it and, an, and a third person to optimize it, then something will get lost in the way. I mean, the person who knows where to distribute needs to be the person that is on top of the content, either writing it or briefing someone about it and eventually optimizing it. And I think, I think that only the second position should be someone who knows how to manage budgets and, and advertise, I mean paid advertising. All, uh, always first start with creating that basis of organic traffic, which is basically the best converting traffic, and do so by 
producing great content, distribute it in the right place, and optimize for SEO always. Good, so I think that everyone here have a quite an interesting to-do list at the end of the, f of the second event of B2B Talks. Um, uh, first of all, I want to uh, say thank you for all of you for joining me in this panel, uh, and thank all of you guys for being here today. <laughs> Our next event will take place in January, probably mid-January. Uh, we're still figuring out what is the topic. We'll send all of you an email with it. And you're, of course, more than welcome to stay uh, longer here and uh, have a chat. I know that I have a couple of people I need to buy whiskey for, uh, so that's a part of the job. <laughs> Tough life. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. Thank you.